What's up guys, Gunscorch here, and today for you guys I have part one of my vehicle making tutorial uh, for GTA 5. Uh, all we're going to need for this is OpenIV because normally you do the, the folder setup last, but I like to do it first and just get it out of the way. Um, so that's what we're doing, that's the wrong folder. Alright, so, mods, update, 64, DLC packs create new folder, which is that button, um, and then it's just the name of whatever you're going to build, whatever the name of the car is, so, yeah, that's built right, I was like, I feel like I hit way too many buttons, and then new RPF, and just name this DLC, uh, if you have other mods installed, that's what these are, yeah, that's what these are, uh, you can just go in here, Take that out, and then go in here, and just drag and drop, and then you have all the folders that you're gonna need. Um, but this is for, this is from scratch. So new DLC. You need to enter instead of okay. I don't need that anymore. Um, all right, from here we need X64 and common. Now inside the 64, we're going to need a new folder called data. And inside that folder, we're going to need a new folder called lang. And then inside this, we're going to put RPFs and stuff. Um, but we're going to steal those from GTA's, uh, one of their DLCs. Um, inside the common folder, we want data. So back to the DLC RPF with the time 64 and common. So inside that, we need a folder called data. And then inside here, then if we go down here to update, 64, DLC packs, uh, we're going to use MP apartment. Uh, we're going to need these two. And in the common data folder, we're going to need levels, GTA 5, vehicles, dot meta. And then if we go back to common data, we're going to need car calls, car variation, DLC text, and handling, dot meta. Come on, stay in the line. All right, and then time 64 data playing all of these RPS we're gonna need. And then that will be it. That'll be all we need from that. So then if we go back to Econo line or whatever your vehicle's name is, uh, DLC RPF, that's where the setup to.xml and the content.xml can go. Uh, 64, actually we're going to need a new RPF named <laughs> Vehicles, sorry. Uh, data, language, that's where all of these can go. And then, we don't need these anymore. Or the setup to and content XMLs. Um, and then if we go back to DLC RPF and go common data, that's where all five of these go and then we don't need deals anymore. So, uh, first things first, language. Uh, enter in one of the RPFs. We don't need these top three. We only need the global one, and actually right-click and export to your desktop. And then, if we open that, then see how it's the hexadecimal code? equals, and then whatever it's called. So if we click right there, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, and hold shift, and click there, and then hit delete, then we can go back to OpenIV, and this is the hash generator. Make sure you're on hex and not uh, decimal or whatever DEC means. Um, and then for this, we're going to put in the name of our vehicle without random numbers. You kind of line it generate. We're going to copy that, and then here we're going to put that, space equals space, and then econoline, and we are going to save that. So now, when we type in econoline into a trainer or something to spawn a vehicle, it reads this hash and spawns this specific car. So we can X out of that. Um, so now, once we're in here, now we can just drag and drop that in, and then that's all it says. 
and then we have to do this. Works out how that'd be. I thought that would replace all of them. Um, so delete the first three, drag and drop in. like the Polish D DLC, it's not written, oh, I guess it is written in Polish, oh well. So apparently, the only one that we need then is the American DLC, but we're just, we're, we're gonna put it in all of them. That's what I've done for the other six or seven cards that I made. So we'll do it for this one too. Um, vehicles that are RPF, this is where you're gonna put your YFT and your your two YFT files and your YTD files. Your YTD file. There's one YTD and two YFTs. Um, one of the YFT is high quality. So then that's done, and then we just need data. The stuff, that's all good. Um, handling. So you only need the first item, except that one, because that one has a weapon. Uh, the Mamba. There we go. So now, let's go down. Let me delete that so that only one vehicle is in here. And then we're going to rename that to the kind of line. Uh, seat offsets, yeah, offset distance, if I can talk. Uh, that's just going to be zero for all of them. Um, and then everything else should be fine for now. So the handling is done. Um, and then this one, we're going to control F, we're going to find Mamba. We're going to select that, let's go back up here, delete that. We're going to scroll down to the bottom of Mamba, which is here. So that's all good, and then we're selecting the first item and scrolling down until we see Mamba. So we'll delete that, and actually we can delete that too. Um, then we're selecting that all the way down to the bottom at the end of item, and then we change that to Econo Line. Or actually, that wasn't. Okay, that wasn't capitalized. You kind of line, and then that we're going to need to leave the same. Um, camera name, that stuff, we'll leave the same for now. We'll do more editing on this uh, at the end, because I'm trying to make these videos uh, less than... Less than 10 minutes, so I can upload them to Instagram as well. Um, and then... Alright. And that's about all we have time for for this one. So, I will see you in part 2 of the folder setup. Peace.